Hey guys, welcome, or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, today is when I do something I like to call Philo Literary Analytica, the series where we explore literary works that have been influential in intellectual, philosophical, academic, and pop culture communities. The idea is to provide you with the lessons and overall messages in these works, even when you have not read them. You will learn a lot from our analyses, enabling you to engage in discussions with fellow readers or at the very least understand the references to these works that one might make in conversation or at any social gathering. The links will be in the description if you would like to read the material in full. In today's episode, we explore Bjorn Lomborg's How to Spend $75 Billion to Make the World a Better Place. Lomborg's book begins with the question, how can we use $75 billion to make the most significant positive impact on the world? The author emphasizes that this sum is not a random figure, but represents approximately 0.1% of global GDP. By allocating this amount intelligently, we can address pressing global issues such as poverty, disease, and environmental degradation, ultimately making the world a better place. The book is divided into 10 sections, each focusing on a specific area where the 75 billion can make a difference. To ensure his proposals are based on solid evidence, Lomborg collaborates with the Copenhagen Consensus Center, an organization that brings together leading economists, including several Nobel Prize winners, to prioritize global spending solutions. The center uses a cost-benefit analysis approach to determine the most effective investments for improving the world's overall welfare. The first section of Lomborg's book addresses the issues of poverty and malnutrition, which are still prevalent in many parts of the world. The author proposes several strategies to combat these problems, such as 1. Micronutrient interventions. Lomborg argues that investing in these interventions, such as providing vitamin A and zinc supplements to undernourished children, can significantly improve their health and cognitive abilities. These interventions are cost-effective, with every dollar spent yielding a return of up to $30 in terms of increased productivity and reduced healthcare costs. 2. Conditional cash transfers. Lomborg highlights the importance of investing in female education, as it has a significant impact on women's economic opportunities, health, and overall well-being. By supporting initiatives that increase girls' access to education, we can empower women and promote gender equality worldwide. 2. Reducing gender-based violence. This is a priority and affects millions of women and girls globally. Lomborg proposes investing in awareness campaigns, legal reforms, and support services for survivors to address this pervasive issue. Environmental degradation poses a significant threat to the world's long-term welfare. Lomborg discusses several ways to address these challenges, such as 1. Climate change mitigation. Lomborg emphasizes the need for investments in research and development of low-carbon technologies to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the impacts of climate change. He also advocates for international cooperation and policy reforms to promote sustainable development. 2. Investing in biodiversity conservation is another priority for Lomborg, who suggests allocating resources to protected areas, habitat restoration, and sustainable land use practices. By preserving ecosystems and the services they provide, we can safeguard the planet's natural resources for future generations. In the sixth section of his book, Lomborg discusses the importance of improving global governance to ensure effective cooperation and coordination among countries. He proposes investments in several areas, including 1. International institutions. Lomborg calls for increased funding for international institutions that play a crucial role in addressing global challenges, such as the World Health Organization, the United Nations, and the World Bank. By strengthening these organizations, we can promote more effective and coordinated global responses to pressing issues. 2. Disaster Risk Reduction Lomborg highlights the need for better preparedness and response mechanisms to minimize the impacts of natural disasters on vulnerable populations. This includes investments in early warning systems, infrastructure improvements, and emergency response training. In the seventh section of the book, Lomborg addresses the need to invest in peace and security initiatives worldwide. He identifies several key areas for investment, such as 1. Conflict prevention. Lomborg emphasizes the importance of investing in measures, such as diplomacy, peacekeeping missions, and support for fragile states. Addressing the root causes of conflict and promoting stability can save lives and prevent humanitarian crises. 2. Arms control. 
Investing in initiatives to reduce the proliferation of weapons and promote disarmament is a priority for Lomborg. This includes supporting international treaties, implementing export controls, and funding research on new arms control technologies. The eighth section of Lomborg's book focuses on the importance of strengthening democracy and human rights worldwide. He proposes investments in several areas, including 1. Electoral assistance. Lomborg suggests investing in programs to support free and fair elections in countries transitioning to democracy. This includes providing technical assistance, monitoring election processes, and promoting voter education. 2. Human rights protection. This would be investing in human rights protection initiatives, such as supporting civil society organizations, promoting legal reforms, and funding human rights education programs. By strengthening human rights protections, we can contribute to a more just and equal world. In the ninth section of his book, Lomborg highlights the importance of investing in innovation and technological advancements to drive economic growth and improve the world's welfare. He identifies several key areas for investment, including 1. Research and Development Lomborg emphasizes the need to invest in areas with significant potential for social and economic benefits, such as clean energy, healthcare, and agriculture. By fostering innovation, we can create new solutions to global challenges and enhance overall welfare. 2. Digital Infrastructure Another priority for Lomborg is investing in digital infrastructure, such as broadband internet access and mobile networks, to bridge the digital divide and promote connectivity worldwide. This investment can foster economic growth, improve access to information, and enhance social participation. In the final section of his book, Lomborg reiterates the transformative potential of investing $75 billion in the areas discussed throughout the book. By allocating resources strategically and prioritizing the most effective interventions, we can make a significant positive impact on the world, improving the lives of millions and making the world a better place. In conclusion, How to Spend $75 Billion to Make the World a Better Place by Bjorn Lomborg offers an ambitious, well-researched, and thought-provoking plan for tackling some of the world's most pressing challenges. By investing in the right initiatives, we can create a better world for all, and Lomborg's book provides a valuable roadmap for achieving this goal. So, what did you think about this analysis? Do you think this strategy to make the world a better place would work? Do you think our global leaders are aware of this book? Have you seen any real-world applications of these concepts? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for more literary analyses. Until next time, happy reading, and may your intellectual journey continue to enrich your mind and understanding of the world around you.